what's up? Welcome to another video upload from Aspie with Attitude. If you happen to watch this for the first time, my name is David, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, I have some speech difficulty, speech impairment, and a speech impairment, I have a speaking syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. And so welcome to episode 201. And if you're still watching this for the first time, just to briefly let you know while I do this video content, I make autistic YouTube blog videos talking about autistic life hacks, discussing any issues or any politics that's affecting the worldwide autism community. I also in these video contents, I make a stand for autistic rights and autism acceptance. And I light up red for autism acceptance, of course. And I even talk a lot about my special interests, any obsessions, and just the passion that I have. I also, in general, talk about life, what it's like being on the autism spectrum, with a real voice from an autistic individual just like me, Aspie with Attitude. And for those who are a regular viewer to my YouTube channel, Aspie with Attitude, this is on my left, which is that blue table, and have you ever wondered where my Lego had gone? So as it happens, all you see is these sensory toys, because I'll be doing something different for this video content. Give you a quick review on each sensory toy, since it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. And that's why I have my sensory toys here instead of my Lego. All right, it's time to get started, shall we? So like, the first sensory toy I like to talk about is the fidget spinner. So you just really need to check out episode 13 if you want to learn more about fidget spinners, since I've done it back in the early times. It's a very underrated episode. And also I'll leave a card here, and there'll be a thumbnail towards the end of this video if you look for episode 13, which is good fidget spinners. And first off, before I get to the other sensory toys, the purpose of sensory toys really though, like, since that most people on the autism spectrum tend to get very fidgety and very anxious and very nervous and stressful, the idea of sensory toys is, it's meant for autistic individuals, if they're feeling a bit silly, to be able to self-regulate. As you can see, that I already got a poppet in one hand and a fidget spinner in the other. So, first off, I'm going to be talking about that squishy worm as I draw the camera in a lot closer to give you a close-up shot of that squishy worm. So, here's a close-up shot of a squishy worm, the first toy I want to show you for this video content. And you can just see how hairy the actual squishy worm is, so it's got a little Thing there, you can actually dangle it down like a yo-yo. You can do all sorts of things. And like, I don't have to be relying on the fidget spinner. I could actually be using this. It's all about, you can actually stretch it, or you can just squish it. And you can just see how I'm actually trying to make it look like a puffer fish. Oh, how cool is that? And basically, you can just see how I can just squish it and it's got a bit of an air. So I'll just get a little bit afraid of popping this whole thing and you can just do all sorts of things yeah you can twirl it so I want to be careful I don't even hit that plant yeah so basically though like it's almost like a stress reliever and it just makes me feel less nervous while I'm talking so like that's just a close up shot of a purple squishy worm I want to show you for this video content and now, it's time to move on to the second object, which happens to be that yellow cube. What that yellow cube is, I can only call this a squishy cheese. So, it's time to draw the camera a lot closer, as I can show you this squishy cheese. Now that we've come a little bit closer to show you this yellow cube, what it actually is, it's actually Swiss cheese. But you can actually kind of just squish it, just like a squish ball and 
So I identified this as cheese as well. So like, I hope to get in that direction. And I'll just show you something. Pop comes a little mouse. You can always stretch your mouse, and even squish your mouse. It's not just one, and there's actually uh, another mouse inside. You'll have to have it facing towards me so I can know where it is. So I'll put that down, and how cool is this? Like two little mice there. If you remember a 90s cartoon picking the brain, that's what it actually reminds me of. So you can stretch both of them or squish the other. And pretty much you can play with the little mouse, or the mice, I should say. And I'll put one down. Basically, when you finish, you can actually squeeze it back in its place. So I don't lose it. Because like, with these little mice, it actually lives inside this cheese here. And it can just stretch. And just in it goes. Yeah. There you have it. Just for squishy cheese. For my second sensory toy I want to talk about in this video. Alright, moving on to the next item. And inside this brown thing, which is actually a plastic basket. Yeah, there's a squishy bun inside. So once again, let's draw the camera in a lot closer to show you the squishy bun. And the next one is, it's actually called a squishy bun. What I'd like to show you first is, you can see how I've got this little basket. And once you lift that basket, if you've ever been to a Chinese restaurant, you might have come across a uh, steamed pork bun, that's what it is. So you can just remove it, and basically though, like, you can actually use this as a stress ball, so if you're very stressed out and anxious, you can actually be squeezing this thing around, and once you sort of loosen it, it'll just get back in its shape. Oh yeah, this is absolutely cool. Like, I won't go twisting it at all, because, like, I don't want to wreck this toy here and you can just see the texture and basically don't like yeah, it's just got some sort of filling in the middle just to sort of give this real squishy feel to it and basically you can put in a basket and you can just sort of continue to just sort of like playing around with it that is such an awesome sensory toy this one and once I'm finished with it, I'll just put a lid straight onto it. So, I'm actually finished with that little squishy toy, which is a steamed pork bun. And now, I'm trying to move on to the next object. Like, I could be talking about anything. And when I'm playing around here, instead of using a fidget spinner, I'm actually playing around what's called the infinity cube. So just to show you how the Infinity Cube works, I just like to bring the camera a lot closer. So this is just another type of fidget toy that I have here. So like, I'm surely I've seen this on Dan's Aspie World when he was actually reviewing the Steam toys that he had. So it just keeps going and going. That's why it's called an Infinity Cube. You can fold it up, you can try all sorts of different shapes. which is actually a real cool fidget toy. Just a bit of an alternative to the fidget spinner, of course. And sometimes you can almost sit around for hours just doing this, especially if you're bored or you're just nervous and anxious, especially going through sensory shutdown or some sort of autistic shutdown. And it just helps you to self-regulate, especially when you zone out. So like I could actually be fidgeting around with it and talking at the same time. Like pretty much in most of the videos, I reckon I just should just stick with a fidget spinner then. And now it's time to move on to the next item, which is gonna be the poppet. So 
So most of you will be familiar with what I mean by the poppet. So like, I think this is something that's maybe replaced fidget spinners. So like in this video contents, I still use the fidget spinner as my preferred choice of sensory toys or any sim toys. So like, it's actually gonna be about time that we actually bring it a little bit more closer to show you more of this poppet that I'm holding there. Let's get on with it then. And this is a latest sensory toy, which has been the most popular for 2020 and 2021, which is actually a poppet. So basically though, like, you can just see how I'm actually just popping at it. And it sounds like popcorn crackling here. What it basically is that if you like just pushing buttons, you can actually just sort of like just push on each of it. So I'll just kind of reset it. Like this, many ways you can actually just go in patterns when you pop it. And you can actually get a much larger size. And that's absolutely cool for self-regulating here. So this is just almost like a fidget spinner almost, but not exactly that. Yeah, finally just finish with a poppet. So like, is this gonna really replace the fidget spinner? The poppet? Like, maybe if I can just put the poppet and a fidget spinner together. And now, I've got a different type of fidget spinner here. I would like to explain this fidget spinner. Like this is actually a poppet and a fidget spinner in one. So you can just see how I can just be playing for poppet. We can just quickly bring the camera a lot closer just to show you what I mean. <laughs> and how's this for a fidget spinner? Yeah, I better stop it. And I think I'm gonna pop it. Actually, I may actually get a poppet and a fidget spinner all in one. But unfortunately, something I cannot do with this fidget spinner is run this one on my nose. Since it just doesn't balance properly enough. Like, I had to get this one just to show. Oh, yeah, this is just so awesome, that fidget spinner. Oh, I finally just finished reviewing each of the toys that I have. Like, yeah, just how cool was those toys? I think it's time to switch back to my usual fidget spinner before I sign out. Oh, before we get out this video content, please, why not subscribe to Aspib Attitude if you want to show more support. That's all I ask for in terms of support by subscribing. And also, you can keep up to date with Aspib Attitude if you can just ring this notification bell to keep up to date. And also, please, don't forget to like and share this video content with your friends, with your family, and with the worldwide autism community. And also, don't forget to leave a comment down below just to let me know what you think of these sensory toys that I've been showing off throughout the whole entire video content. And also, the reason why I changed to my usual fidget spinner is that's the way things get done. I can't do it with the one I showed you before. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening to Aspie Fairchild, and I hope you enjoyed the toys that I showed off. Peace and respect, and see you next time.